Well, we did it. We did? The farmhouse refresh is all done. How did I know that was gonna happen? I honestly did, when we bought this farm, the farmhouse refresh was not on my to-do list. But I'm so happy we did it. It's so cute now. No, it's awesome. I'm yeah. really glad we did do it. I love that we kept the original uh, charisma of the house. I don't know if you're fully aware of the budget situation. So we are gonna do a refresh on the house. Nothing structural, um, no, nothing big. We're gonna be on budget. We're gonna be going on. We're gonna be on budget. We're gonna be on budget. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll get to that later. Do you like the house? I love the house. Good. You did a great job. So what do you think? Our budget was about $18,000. Yeah. What do you think we spent in the end I of the day? I think we doubled it. We had some structural things we had to do. Yeah. So regardless, there was a few big ticket items. Mm -hmm. That we weren't that expecting. we weren't expecting yeah. at all. Yeah. I think you did a great job with your thrifting and the style of the house. Thank I you. Did, I think that kept our budget down, but then there's a few things I saw going there over the last couple of months that were definitely not thrift. Yeah. So yeah, I think 30 grand. I think we doubled it. I think just, just under doubling it. Well, Justin Pasuto, let's go check out the house and I'll give you the final number later. <laughs> so before we take you inside, you'll see we didn't do much to the exterior. Uh, we didn't even paint the trim or the house. We love the character of the house, right? I, our goal was to keep it as like original as possible. Yeah, we had to replace uh, parts of the roof because it was leaking. And unfortunately we had to spend a ton of money on plumbing, so that's where most of my budget went. We had a bit of a surprise, but it was the yeah. only way we could make it work. Yeah. So basically what I'm saying is between the plumbing and your landscaping, that ate up all my budget, and that's why we went so over budget. Why am I not surprised to hear an <laughs> excuse before we begin? Why don't we go show everybody inside? Great idea. You're great at that. I've got some stuff to do in the flower field anyway, so you show everybody the inside, and I'll uh, catch up with you later. Come on, let's go. Okay, so for the little entryway, we really didn't do much. We painted the ceiling, got a new light fixture. I got a little bench from Facebook Marketplace for like $25. The biggest splurge in here was probably this little area rug, which I love because it's actually machine washable. Uh, we also painted the walls, but nothing too serious in the entryway. Okay, the living area. I absolutely love the way this space turned out from the pink door, which you know Justin did not approve of to the custom armoire, which was definitely a splurge. I just love how eclectic it is in here. So a few things we did, painted the floors blue. Um, the uh, couch is from Facebook Marketplace, as is the chair. The couch was $50, the chair was like 40. We painted the ceiling and added this beautiful shiplap, walls. The oars actually are from the property. Um, and my dad hung the oars with an old belt. This is an old chest that I've had ever since I was 16. I've always looked for the perfect place to um, put it. I used to have it as a coffee table in my very first home, so I love that it's getting repurposed here. Just a few things that we had from before, um, like the stump and the Wild at Heart print. Um, some of the artwork is new. One of my favorite pieces in this room is actually this little side table. It belonged to my grandma and grandpa. And so when my grandma passed on, um, it was in her house and I was able to take it. And if you remember on episode three, this little lamp turned out so cute and it's filled full of glass um, from the kids. They go and collect it from the beach. Uh, all the artwork here has a node to either uh, experiences that we've had in our life, Justin and I. Uh, some of the pieces are from when we went traveling to Europe or when we had Charlie Ford. Some of the pieces on the wall here and over here, um, we've got an old um, Kelowna Courier newspaper from 1931, I believe, which is around the time that this house was built. The window coverings was a huge splurge for us. Um, I think we spent about $1,200 in window coverings. I wanted it all to match. There were no window coverings. They were all different sizes. Okay, so let's talk about this built-in for a second. So the built-in was definitely a splurge and it was a last minute decision. Um, we didn't know what to do here. We definitely needed more seating. We definitely needed more storage. This is all full of the kids' toys here. Um, 
I knew I needed to do something custom. I tried looking for a piece of furniture, but because of the floor being unlevel, but because of where the window was, I couldn't find anything that was gonna fit in this space. So we actually partnered with Norelco, um, who is a Canadian um, local uh, cabinet manufacturer. You may recognize them from Tori's Place. They did all of Tori's cabinetry, and they're so, so talented. So they put together this beautiful shaker style built-in bench and uh, bookshelf. This. Uh, uh, coat rack um, I got from Facebook marketplace so this little uh, dresser I got from Facebook marketplace I think I spent most of my budget on this um, this old I guess I need to wash the wall there too this old float I got from an antique store I think I spent like $300 on this thing I spent more money on this float than I did in all the seating in this entire living room so you gotta win some you lose some Okay, welcome to what we call the boys room. Um, it just happened by chance that we ended up with like a blue and green room and a pink room. Annie and I love pink, the boys love blue and green. So actually, typically this is where Justin and Leo sleep. So we've got a queen over here and a twin over here. Um, we just painted the floors blue, we ripped out the carpet, painted the walls this gorgeous green, painted the ceiling, new light fixture. The beds I could have gotten um, used. I could have gotten them used, but I couldn't find two beds that fit in the space and also between the windows that were similar enough. So the beds are new, the mattresses are new, and the linens are new, but a lot of the pillows and side pillows are either thrifted, vintage, or from our place. And I love the way this little gallery wall turned out. So we've got an L for Leo, and A for Annie. This is a picture of my grandpa and I. And then the last thing about this room that I really love are these three paintings. These are actually Justin's nonies. She passed away in 2020. Uh, before we get to the pink room, let's go check out the bathroom. <laughs> okay, so this little bathroom is so adorable and I'm gonna keep on saying this, but when we first got this place and I peeked my head into this bathroom, I was like, oh. It was quite something. There were so many cobwebs. Um, all of this was sort of a dark brown uh, cedar and I did not think that there would be a day that I would be having a bath or a shower in this bathroom. And I love it now, it's so cute. So we kept the floor original, the bathtub and the shower are original. We had to replace the toilet and the vanity for storage. We painted the walls white. All of this tile is original. Even this towel rack is original. I'm happy with the way this turned out and I don't wish we could have done anything else. I love everything just the way it is. It's still a bit rustic, but we're at the farm. Okay, let's go check out the second bedroom and then I'll take you through to the kitchen and then my favorite place in the whole house. How cute did this little room turn out? This was one of the sketchier rooms when we took over this property and I toured this house. I was like, oh, this will be the storage room. This is where we'll keep all of our winter stuff. And this is now one of my favorite, I say this in every room, one of my favorite rooms in the house. We call this the pink room or the girls room and the wallpaper is original. It's probably from the 60s or 70s. And then I painted all of the rest of the room to match the base of the wallpaper. The floor is painted blue, the ceiling's painted, and other than that, pretty much everything's original. Of course, we've got a new light fixture. The bed was from Facebook Marketplace. I think it was $50 and it's from the 1900s. So I absolutely love it. Um, Annie and I sleep in this bed um, and we have the best, we actually have the best sleeps in this house. Um, we are really good friends with the owner of Haven Mattresses. They are Canadian made mattresses. So they supplied the mattresses for this house. Um, and I think the mattresses at the farm are actually more comfortable than any bed that we have. Um, so we love, we love sleeping here. It's a really tight space, but it's a cozy space. It's a happy place. That's what this place is supposed to be about. It's not supposed to be perfect. So it turned out pretty cute. Okay, I am so excited about this kitchen transformation. It's still eclectic. It still has the same vibes of this old farmhouse, but most of it, is new. So let's first talk about the piece de resistance and this whole entire renovation, and that is the appliances. So I found this company that is Canadian, Canadian made, and it's called Amira Stoveworks, and they make 
all different kind of reproduction appliances. They even have some that are from the early 1900s. These ones specifically are called in the 1950s. I think this is called the 1954 and so is the, the fridge. So that means this is a replica from a 1954 stove except for it's electric because we don't have gas in the house. And this fridge is a 1954 replica. So we actually are going to be using this space way more than I anticipated. And so having appliances that work um, is really important to me. So we were able to partner with Elmira Stove Works for this renovation and I am so thrilled on how these turned out. The color is called Bisque, um, which is like a really warm cream. It ties in with the warm cabinets um, and I absolutely love, love, I have no regrets, absolutely no regrets with these appliances. Um, it was a pleasure working with Elmira and I love that they are Canadian made. So that's the appliances. Now let's talk about this little cabinet here. This actually used to be my mom's when she was a kid. So I loved being able to repurpose this old cabinet and I've had it in my home ever since I moved out. The wallpaper, I know so many people are gonna ask about the wallpaper. I really wanted something that looked like it could have been original to this house. Um, so this wasn't here, but it definitely looks vintage. And this farm actually used to be a cherry orchard. So I love that we have this sort of like whimsical retro cherry print on the walls. Um, I wanted to tie in the green with the yellow and the warmth. If you look at the wallpaper, you can see little bits of yellow, little bits of red and little bits of green which is why we painted the ceiling um, this beautiful sort of army green. And the chandelier was a big splurge. Um, this is a brand new chandelier, even though it looks vintage. Um, for safety reasons, I wanted to use all new electrical and all new lighting. So uh, this is a new light fixture from Wayfair. Uh, not sponsored, paid for it. Um, the shelving is all local wood. This is made uh, by somebody who I met on Facebook Marketplace. And a lot of the items here are all from Value Village. So Value Village, Value Village, Value Village. These I had from home. This is an old mailbox that Justin's mom gave to us. Um, I absolutely love it. Some of these pieces you will recognize from our house, like the lemonade dispenser I've had for years. So that's this side of the kitchen. Now if we can just twist our way over to this side of the kitchen, I always knew that I was gonna keep the cabinetry, mostly because I didn't have the budget to replace it. At this rate, I probably just should have replaced it. But I love the cabinetry. It's actually metal, it's not wood. And we just painted it yellow on a whim. The countertop is just a basic melamine countertop that we got from Home Depot, cut it to size, and the back Splash is actually a peel and stick backsplash that I got from Amazon. Side note though, it doesn't stick very well. But this is how we learn and I was on a budget so I was trying to keep within my margins. Spoiler alert, um, I did not stay on budget. New handles, uh, which I also got from Amazon and new flooring. So the flooring again is just a peel and stick laminate, nothing fancy. We had it installed in an afternoon and uh, was I think two bucks a square foot. So here's the kitchen. Already we're making so many memories here. Okay, welcome to my favorite room in the house. I know I've said that a few times today, but every room has transformed in ways that I really never thought was possible. And this room has to be the biggest transformation. I feel like I've also said that. The ceiling was filled full of walnut shells from rodents. The floor was rotting, the walls were rotting, and I legitimately never thought that we would spend time in this space. And now, this is where we spend most of our time. So the kids have breakfast here in the mornings, we entertain here, we have pizza nights here. It's such a special little place. Even in the spring or as we're going into the fall, it gets chilly and we just light the candles and it's just really, really special um, space. So the floor is just a peel and stick floor from Home Depot. We painted the ceiling white. We kept the window trims the same color, painted the door, and um, we did a really beautiful built-in bench with a custom cushion. And then the table and these uh, shelving units are actually custom made from my friends at Primrose. Overall, it still has that same charm and that same charisma as it did 100 years ago. So that's it. That's the farmhouse tour. I hope you loved it as much as I did. I'm nervous now because I have to go break the news to Justin about how over budget we are. So how'd it go? I think they loved it. Oh, good. So. Okay, I've just been dying to know. I need to know. I need to know the final number. I can't focus. Can't I thought you were going to forget about that. Okay, so remember when I said it was I wasn't going to go over budget? Well, we all knew that wasn't going to happen. I did. 
But the question is how much? Okay, so keep in mind, we have to consider, we spent quite a bit of money on landscaping, plumbing, the roof. I also splurged on a few things inside, like the beds, the lighting, and some of the accessories. Okay, I saved money in areas like um, the, some of the furniture, the couch, the chair, the cushions, a lot of stuff I salvaged from the house or repurposed. Judging by your dancing around, the budget's way over what I had expected yeah. it to be. So my budget was like 20 grand and we're just under 60. Wow, holy shit, Jill, seriously? I know. I do think eventually How we would- How do you do that? It's magic. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I get it. We had some, like, bigger ticket items come up, kind of, like, surprised. But they weren't big enough to triple the budget. Some people spend 60 on an entire kitchen. We furnished this entire house. It's habitable. It is landscaped. It has a new roof. It has sufficient plumbing. It has new appliances. It has new bedding and new beds, mattresses. I splurged a little on landscaping outside just to bring the whole kind of face value up on the house and the whole look. You know, but still five grand maybe on landscaping. Now we're talking tripling the budget. Okay, let's go over the budget again and where all this money went. We ended up spending about $16,000 on home decor and furnishings. Uh, just a little under $7,000 on landscaping. We didn't even have landscaping in the original budget. Same with basement and sewer. We spent close to $12,000 on basement and sewer. Electricity and lighting was around $2,500. New roof and paint was around $16,000. Interior painting was around $3,000. And then we paid for the delivery of our appliances was about $1,000, rounding us up to $57,000. So as you can see, the money goes by pretty fast. <laughs> Anyways, moral of the story is I suck at budgets. I suck at numbers. I'm good at decorating. I do think we would have put that money into this house eventually. We just did it quicker than we thought. It turned out beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this process with us. I hope you all are not too disappointed in me as much as Justin is. I'm not disappointed. Things, <laughs> it's how renovations go. Hence why we were trying to push this renovation off towards the end of the big project because, well, let's just say, we knew the budget was not going to come in on budget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the end of the story. Could be worse, could have been worse. You could have spent a hundred grand. I mean, you're almost there, you might as well. What else do you want to do? There are some other things I'd okay. like to do. <laughs> okay, you go there, I'll go in here. Thanks for tuning in.